It is DIY Friday, and today we're going to learn how to make some handmade flowers that you can use either Valentine's Day or for a wedding. Jennifer Prince is owner and editor of Hill City Bridge Wedding Blog and is here to demonstrate how easy it is. Welcome to the show. Yes, thank you, thank you. So this is what we're making. Yes, we are making this. Um, it's actually Hill City Bride. Oh, excuse um, me. Wedding Blog, it's okay. Okay. <laughs> um, but yes, we're making something that you can personalize for your wedding or you can also personalize it for Valentine's Day, which is what I actually did today. So. Okay. Okay. Um, in doing that. But what you're going to want to purchase, um, I actually got things um, locally in downtown Lynchburg at the Art Box. So I bought a canvas and I also bought some handmade paper, but this is easily adaptable. If you wanted to do it for your kids, you could use construction paper or whatever you okay. want. Okay, okay. So the first step that I did is I just cut a piece of paper that was about an inch around um, all sides and just covered this and just glued this on. Very super simple. Okay. And then if you wanted to do something like a monogram or something like that, um, you could do either a heart or whatever you wanted to do and you just take it and you just trace it out. Okay. So that's how you kind of prepare your surface. So, and then in order to make the flowers, they're really, really cute, but they're also very simple. Mm -hmm. You just take your paper and you take any sort of circular thing. Now the circular thing, you just trace it and the size of the circle obviously is dependent on the size flower that you want. Okay. So for for instance, this size flower was actually from the size of circle too. So okay. um, and then once you have your circle, it's really easy. You just take and you just go ahead um, and I cut um, like that just because it's easier to have a flat surface to work on. But you just go ahead and you cut a spiral and then once you're done doing the spiral, you're going to want to cut this little tiny piece off just to round it off a little bit. Mm -hmm. So then you'll end up with a piece that looks like this. So um, it's okay. kind of like a little snake or whatever okay. you want to say. And then you just take the outer edge and you just start rolling. So you just roll, roll, try to keep it oh, tight. Okay. And then you keep the bottom here, you keep that, make sure that's the base of your flower. And you actually will end up using this little piece um, in the end, um, and I will show you that. But once you roll, 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 mm -hmm. you'll end up with this flower right here. Oh my goodness! Look yes. at that. Yeah. Okay. And so it looks, um, it looks like a rose. Yes. And the little flap at the bottom is really good because you have all of this twisted paper, mm -hmm. and then um, you just put a dab of glue there and then you set it there. So the glue actually helps to set all these little rolls that are in there too. Mm -hmm. So then once you've traced whatever you want, whatever shape you want, you start forming them and you can use hot glue, but I really like to use just some sort of tacky glue because mm -hmm. you don't know. Let me show this. Off. Yes. What is the, okay, so tacky glue. Yes. What's the difference between this? Um, it's a little bit, it's better than Elmer's, but it's still like a white glue. It's a okay. little bit thicker and all too. Okay. So um, I like that because if you don't like where something is, you still have the ability to move these around and push them together. Whereas if you do hot glue, once that dries, it's stuck. It's set. Yes, okay. exactly. Mm -hmm. So. Um, but yeah, it's a very simple project. Uh, I do suggest too, once you do this, not to let the flower be too tight. You can actually loosen it up a little bit or even take a pencil um, before you glue it and just kind of poke around in there if you want to loosen them up a little bit. Because I have some flowers in here that are very loose and uh, others that are a little bit tighter mm -hmm. too. Uh, and then laying some of them on their side, which you don't have to do. You can make them all straight. You can actually buy fabric um, and paper flowers at the craft store if you don't want to make your own. Okay. But I just thought it'd be fun. I, I was going to say, that takes away the fun, right, right? Right, Yeah, it was definitely less expensive for me to do it this way too. And then picking a pattern paper just added a little bit of depth in my opinion too, just to make it a little bit more of an art piece. It's really um, pretty. Yeah, yeah I would is. hang that on my wall. Right, But you right. could give it as, as a gift, gift. or mm -hmm. you can put it out for a wedding. Right, right. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to make it large scale, I mean, there's there's really large canvases and you don't even need to cover your canvas if you don't want. I mean, the mm -hmm. white background is perfectly pretty on its own, but you can, um, yeah, do like a big, whatever your, you know, your monogram is, you can do that. Yeah. Now, it would take a little bit of time, but then you can also make larger circles too. You could use like a paint can or something larger in order to make larger flowers. That is too, so cool. So, yeah. All right, tell me the blog. Easy. It's hillcitybride.com. Yes. So sorry, Jennifer. Thank <laughs> okay. you so much. This was so cute.